Angie, just come up to Bidfield to check our ewes. They've been in with the rams for seven days now. Um, the rams are wearing some harnesses with a crayon to mark the ewes, so we'll be able to tell who's um, hopefully in lamb and, um, and who isn't at the minute. <coughs> So they, as you can see, they've got quite clear um, marks on, on their back. This one's been marked with um, both of the rams and, the, and this one. The harness doesn't harm them in any way. As you can see, it's, it's nice and loose. It gives them a bit of the foot movement in it. And they don't seem too bothered by wearing it. Only when you first put it on, they get used to it after a while so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen i think So we split the ewes um, and the ewe lambs from last year. Um, we're using two new rams on the, the ewe lambs separately. Um, so we've got a group of 30 or so up here and 25 down at the farm. Number six. He's a bit sore on his one foot. This, this, uh, this is Mr. Jingle, but uh, crayons are working well, so uh, he's quite comfortable. We just hello again. Hello again. They've also got this mineral lick, which is um, high in vitamin A, D, B12 um, and E which is particularly important for uh, fertility and breeding um, and lots of other trace elements that are important at this time when they're in with the tubs. We'll update you on how many marks we've got hopefully in the next few days. <laughs> 